All right, I have had this phone for five months and let me tell you something, I absolutely love it. There are some things I really wish that were better or I could change, but with that being said, stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and the cons when it comes to the Samsung Z Flip 3. So let's get right into it. What's happening YouTube? Cesar Randone here and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me. Today, like I said, we're going to be going over the five-month review with the Galaxy Z Flip 3. And let me tell you something, I always start off with the pros first. So now let's start off with the cons and kind of just switch it up a little bit. Things I don't like about this phone or I wish that were better. Um, the very first thing is when it comes to this phone is the battery life of this phone. The battery life, depending on what the brightness is and things like that, it drains really, really quickly compared to a lot of the other phones I had. Just the other day, I was trying to put my GPS somewhere that was 30 minutes away. I used my phone for my GPS and it literally went from 92% all the way to 78% when using the GPS and the brightness only on halfway. So that's just a little bit of an idea of what you have to deal with when it comes to this phone. But as long as you have a portable charger with you or just like a charger in general, go ahead, make sure you have one of those and you should be good. But that is one of the main things that I do not like about this phone, which is the battery life. Now, I do use this phone a lot for gaming and it's really, really good. The only con I have with it is the fact that the top of the phone does get hot. But with that being said, the fact that you have a tiny little gaming device that you can fit in your pocket, unfold, and let's say you have something like the Razer Kishi, you can definitely stream games from your Xbox or directly from Game Pass onto your phone and is literally the coolest thing. If you want more information about the Razer Kishi, go ahead hit that video right there because in that video I talk a lot of how you can stream directly from Xbox on your phone and it is really really cool. With that being said if you don't want to play via Xbox on the cloud they do have a lot of you know gaming apps. There's even an emulator to where you can make the top half of your phone like the screen and the bottom half like Game Boy controls which is really really cool um, and, and that one's sick. I love that too. Now, here's just a little bit of footage of me playing on here. Like I said, you can barely even see the crease and everything just works smoothly. The only cons and downside to this is the fact that the back gets hot and it is gaming, so it does take a lot of battery life. So whenever you're playing, just make sure that all your other apps are closed and try and, I guess, lower the screen a little bit if you do wanna make it last a little bit longer or just get a portable charger and you should be fine. Now, another con that I have with this phone besides the battery is gonna have to be the camera. Now, I'm not saying the camera's bad. There are a lot of good things about this camera, like the fact that you can actually take a photo and you could have someone preview their picture right here, or um, same thing, you could double tap it and then just, you know, have the picture come out here and just take a selfie like that. And it's really cool, or record a video. I'll post that right now. But when it comes to the camera itself, in the back, when you zoom in, you still do get a lot of pixelation, or not even when you zoom in, just on some photos, you do get more pixelation than others. Samsung does have a remaster picture option, which is really cool, but that's the only other con I have with this phone is that camera. Trust me, for main pictures, like the color still comes out beautiful. Here are a couple pictures I took. The color is beautiful. Everything looks really, really nice. But I'm just being super nitpicky because with like the iPhone 13, even the newest Samsung Ultra, like the cameras on those are gorgeous and beautiful. Granted, you do only have two cameras, which is why it's not as amazing when it comes to zooming. Um, but these cameras are still really, really good. And the fact that it folds definitely does make up for it. Another thing I wanna talk about when it comes to this phone is the crease. A lot of people think that that may be a con, but you can hardly ever see it whenever you're using the phone. And trust me, it just disappears after like a couple of weeks. But with that being said, 
I know on the last Z Flip, a lot of people were getting that nasty, like it, it looked like the, the phone was cracking. Five months in, the crease on my phone still looks really, really good. Like you, there's no like cracks or anything in there. So I think, I mean, we'll see what happens in a year, but I'm hoping the screen, it already feels a lot more durable. So I'm hoping the screen doesn't have that issue in the future. If it does, hopefully you could get like some sort of manufacturer like warranty or something like that. But I guess we'll cross that bridge if we get to it. But right now, as far as durability in the screen goes, it has been amazing. Now, when it comes to the durability of this screen, I haven't added any screen protector except for the one that came from the factory. And I have had no problems with it. Granted, my phone is closed most of the time when I'm not using it, which also protects the screen too. But I mean, it's fine. And then when it comes to fingerprints, Yes, you could definitely see a little bit of fingerprints, but not as much as the previous one. And it doesn't feel like that super plasticky screen or anything like that. Now, looking at this phone, obviously this is just a case that's on it. I got this case on Amazon for like 25 bucks. It's really cool. It comes with a kickstand, so you could just set it down and it looks really, really nice. Um, and then you could just flip it open like that and boom, there you go. See, another cool thing about this, and if you don't like it, obviously it just slides right off. You can take off this part, and then you do have the main phone. And when it comes to the cases, that's going to be a pro for me, because there are so many cool cases that can really make this phone look super duper cool. All right, so like I was saying, there are a lot of options with cases, and they're really, really cool depending on if you go with a third-party case or with the Samsung cases that they sell online. I'll do a whole separate video over what cases I have and which ones I think are really cool for this phone. If you do want to see something like that, please remember to subscribe so you can see that when it comes out. Now, when you get the Z Flip 3, it is just an amazing device that is, it just feels next level, which it is. It's a device that folds, has a folding screen, and you could do a lot with the front screen and the inside screen. You can still pay just by tapping on here, lifting it up, and then putting your the top of your phone onto the like payment device, and it is so sick. You get so many, like, you get so many people like asking, yo, what, what is that? That's a phone? That's a phone? You get so many people interested in this device because this is some tech that not too many people have seen and not too many people have. And for a thousand dollars, it's just a great piece of technology. You also like, I feel like there's a sense of community too, because I have only met one other person with this phone and it was somebody at work, like one of my clients. I was like, yo, I got that too, that's cool. And then we were just talking for about like 10 or 15 minutes about how we love it. And then sh who knows, you may even get an iPhone user to switch onto something like this with flexing on them so hard. I'm joking, but that could be something that happens. Now, overall, within the five months of having the phone, those are a bit of the pros and those are a little bit of the cons, but the pros definitely outweigh the cons when it comes to picture quality, when it comes to the overall phone in general. Obviously, the number one pro with this phone is just the fact that it folds, it can go to your pocket, it can go literally anywhere, and it's just an amazing device. You can still pay with it, you can still take amazing pictures. Trust me, like I said, the colors come out beautiful. And it's really cool because whenever you do take pictures, you can go ahead and take them from this front screen. Now. Let me know your thoughts about the Galaxy Z Flip 3, what you love about it, what you don't like about it. Um, if you have one or if you're thinking about getting one, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.